Hey guys, we're on one where this is a dual fuel package unit. And I was out here and replaced the control board several months ago. And uh, she said it's not cooling and four other companies have been out here. She uses a home warranty and they asked me to come back and see what's going on. As you can see, it's not running. So let's dig into it. Yes, I definitely remember this. Um, I had to change that board right there with all of this right here. Let's see. Let's just start with the basics. See if we've got a call, see if we got power. Wait a minute, why do I have so many? I was looking up here, we got a little breaker up here. 3.2 amp and this is a 3 amp so something's blowing my low voltage fuse <laughs> or blowing my low voltage breaker right here This is the second one in like a week where I've had one of these permanently installed. All right, at the thermostat, it is calling, but we're probably gonna go through a five minute time delay here. <laughs> I hope it's something simple. Well, hello. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Come here. It's okay. That one don't know about me. He's thinking stranger danger. I think we're using blue for common, orange for reversing valve, and this is actually going in. Hmm. This one goes to a sensor. Out, out, outdoor temperature sensor somewhere. Hey, go on. I had a water hose that's squirt that's squirting. All right, I jumped to yellow. I jumped to yellow and my reverse valve started clicking, clicking, and then it tripped. So let's um tell you what, first let's I don't want to kill power, I just want like that's 
Got that open. I just, I just want to be able to ohm out my contactor right here. I guess I'm going to have to kill power. Oh. Around here, a dual fuel is I don't know, it's just overkill. We don't need dual fuels down here. Half the time, if people don't even have heat, if people don't even have heat strips on a heat pump, that sometimes I don't even notice. What am I reading? I gotta put this up here where I can see it a little better. 500. Was I reading 500 ohms? Four was. It don't help. I can't see what in the world. <laughs> what I'm touching. Everything's so crammed in here. to 43 ohms that ain't good time when I did this reversing valve started clicking and this tripped. Oops. It's barely on there. Tripped again.
Makes me think it's not the contactor. All right, let's look a little deeper. All right, now I can see a little better. Those go to my reversing valve. And these up here go to a pressure switch. Are they, are they rubbed anywhere? I think I had found a rub on this one. The last time I was out. I thought I had a spider on me. Y'all forgive me. We do have some nasty spiders around here. That you don't want to get bit by. And I have found them in air conditioners many a time. <clears throat> Hmm. Let's try something a little different. All right, that's the first time that has happened. <clears throat> and all I've been doing is messing with these wires over here. <clears throat> all right. Let's see if it'll come on. If it comes on, I'm convinced we got a rub out somewhere. Could even be on this. That's my defrost thermostat. I'm looking up in here. Looking for any kind of rub out. That may take a little while. All right, so apparently I have apparently I have moved something. Thing is, I don't know what I did. I gotta be careful, that fan is right there. All 
All right, we need to look for it. I'm convinced I have a rub out somewhere. Try to fix it. Those have rubbed together. <clears throat> That's the only rubbing I have found so far. to the top of this. Hmm. I would assume that they were both should be hot so if they rub together in shorts tape on those two spots and uh, cross our fingers things been running for a little while I got all this put back together I guess it's been two or three minutes that's still doing good I think just because um there's been so many problems with this I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it this uh, little breaker, I'm gonna leave it in the system. But um, it's doing fine now. Apparently there was nothing wrong with the contactor other than the fact you can't get to it. But um, yeah, it was just a rub out. And I, in fact, I cut out the uh, affected section. Can y'all see that? Bend it over a little bit. It rubs completely to the aluminum on both sides. It's kind of hard to see, but um, that's what it was. I cut that out and um, pulled a little bit more and wire nutted those together and kind of strapped it so it wouldn't touch anything. And now we're cool. Well guys, on that one, I got to talk to the homeowner and she told me that one of the other companies that came out told her her system had been struck by lightning and there was nothing he could do and 
she also said that it seems like it just goes out every two months so I hope I fixed it I looked for any other shorts and I tried to um, zip tie things out of the way so that they wouldn't rub there could be another short that I didn't see I just fixed the one that I found so keep your fingers crossed it's working now Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.